Hi, welcome once again for another episode of SQL VP2 Tutorial. On this session, we continue to explore high report by creating multi-level report. To do that, we have to assign variables that will hold the values of subtotal and total. Our next problem is to create employees report that will group according to sex arranged by department. We will print the total employees before proceeding to the next department. This is the example of that report. Notice that it is arranged by department alphabetically, then by sex, and last name. The reports provide subtotal after each change of gender. A total is generated before printing the next department. Let us create a view that will cater for this report. Let us launch DB2. Connect to sample. We will work with employee and department table. Let us input this script. Notice that the query is already sorted according to depth name, sex, and last name. Let us store it on a view. Check its content. Now let us launch our I report. Click step two. Blank letter. Launch report wizard. We call this one department gender report. Click Design Query, select Views, select the schema, and here is our view. Double click it, click OK, proceed next, select all columns, click next. So our first level of grouping is by department. And the next level of grouping is sex. Click Next, and click Finish. Let us activate the header for depth name. Right click, Add Band. Let us activate the group footer for sex, Add Band. Let us activate the group footer for depth name. You will notice the different bands added to our designer area. Now let us drag work depth and department name at the group header section. Let us provide a label for each one.
Kings. Drag the labels down. Shorten the labels. variable subtotal right click add variable change variable name variable class to integer calculation is by count reset type would be by group and the reset group would be at every time there is a change of sex. Let's adjust it so you could see it. Click variable expression. And the count will be based on sex. Double click this one. Click OK. Under your variables, on report inspector, drag subtotal, place it on group footer sex. Let us apply the label. Let us preview first if it is working properly. Okay, looks good to me. Go back. Collapse again variables. Right click variable. Add variable. On the properties. Replace it with total. Variable class would be integer also. Let's widen this so you could see. Calculation is the same as count. Reset type would be by group. And you're going to reset this every time there is a change of department name. Variable expression. It is the same. We refer on the same column, sex. Double click it. Click OK. Let us drag total at the depth name group footer. Align it on subtotal. Let us create a label text. Preview again. So it is correct. Let us check other department. Move to the next page. Still correct. Manufacturing. It is correct.
Let us put the finishing touches. Preview the report. As I mentioned with previous tutorial, do the sorting order inside the view. Finalize everything there. Make sure subtotal or total are placed inside the correct band of grouping. Hi, Jerry here. Thanks for watching. If you like to see the script of the video presented, please click the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Buy the book for more challenging exercises with solutions. Visit our Facebook and Twitter account. Bye!